oranges and lemons in a version of Satan's. La 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 Hello, what are your names? Catherine. Catherine. Christine. Christine, are you friends? Yes, we are. Do you enjoy fruity blouses? <laughs> very much so. Yeah, you girls are wearing very loud, uh, attractive, very attractive. Is that what the kids are? Is that colour blocking? That's colour blocking, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right, great. Where, where, where are you guys from? Somewhere hot? Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Philadelphia? Yeah. <laughs> Genos or Pats? Mm, Pats. Pats. <laughs> Me too, actually. No. Do you know, tell the folks what Gino's and Pats says. All right, I'll tell them. Uh, <laughs> Gino's and Pats are two places where you can buy a Philly ch cheese steak, uh, and they're right next to each other. And uh, one people in Philly they tend to go to uh, Gino's or Pats. Yep, right. So even although uh, one of you is orange and one of you is lemon, you both go to Pats. Yes. <laughs> What are you doing in L.A.? Uh, we're out here for an Ultimate Frisbee tournament in Santa Monica. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. This Ultimate Frisbee tournament of which you speak, <laughs> can anyone take part? Sure. Sure. For example, my dogs? Absolutely, yeah, sure. Really? Who, what, do you, what do you do in Ultimate Frisbee? What's the difference between Ultimate Frisbee and just Frisbee? Well, it's you, way more intense. You throw the frisbee and you have to score in the other end zone. I see. <laughs> so what you've done is taken the lovely, innocent fun of frisbee and added competition and... Yes. yes. <laughs> and made it not so much fun. Except way more fun. Is it more, way more fun? Oh, yeah. How did you get into ultimate frisbee? Do you start off in frisbee and then just like work? Frisbee's the gateway thing <laughs> to ultimate frisbee. Basically. Ultimate frisbee is the crystal meth of frisbee. <laughs> are, you a, are you a team? Is that, is that what it is? You're a team? Yeah. yeah. So you play in a, a, a doubles? Uh, no. Seven. There's seven on your team at a time. Seven team. people on a frisbee team? <laughs> Well, there's more, but seven yeah. on the field at a time. Seven on the field. Seven on the field at a time? Yes. Yes. But there's more, there's like substitute frisbeers? There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. But like, put me in, coach, put me in. <laughs> yes. There are vast tracts of the world that I know <laughs> nothing about. <laughs> I thought frisbee was just a thing stoners did in the park. <laughs> That, they do that too, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has not gone away, don't worry. No, no, no. Well, uh, <laughs> how, how are you guys doing? Have you started yet? It's this weekend. Oh, this weekend? Yeah, Saturday, Sunday. All right. I know what a weekend is. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got, a, we've got a treat. How many people in your entire Frisbee team? Uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Well, those 15 people, Michael. We'll be going to a restaurant at CBS's Express. Yes! 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 No! 15! If you hold two, if you hold your fingers up too, I'm gonna to say both teams. That'll be 30 people. Man. No, 15. 15 people. The 15 people on your team are going to an inexpensive restaurant in LA at the expense of the great CBS Corporation. Am I right? Victory for Thank you. Enjoy the rest of it. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's new unbelievably great tasting and under 550 calorie entrees. Taste and believe. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
That's enough, thank you. That's right. Uh, really, that's enough. All right, all right. Yeah. That's enough. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Please sit down, relax, and, and a special thank you to the lady, I'm not going to embarrass her, who put a candy in her mouth just as I was coming. <laughs> so everyone else has gone, yeah, yeah, and she was like, mm hmm. <laughs> See, somebody put something in there. Never mind. I, uh... <laughs> hey, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> I'll be, the... I'll be the judge of how great a day it is. <laughs> Why don't you do that, Jeff? Do that with your hand and your tongue. <laughs> it's a great day for America, is it? Mm, yeah, it is. Uh, great day for America. Not a great day for Brazil, though. This is a true story. This is absolutely true. Authorities in Brazil are asking for the public's help to find a man who broke into a sex shop and stole a $4,000 vibrator made of solid gold. <laughs> I, I didn't even know they made these. Got all this gold lying around. What do you want to make? I've got an idea. Four thousand dollar vibrator made of solid gold. Please just release this photograph of the suspect. Yeah, that looks like. It. <laughs> hey, that was a joke. Oh yeah. It was a real story. It was a real story, and then there was a joke at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know that guy, don't you? Oh, he's a good friend. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah his nickname is Goldenrod. <laughs> Uh, today, Russia announced plans to send a probe to the moon by the year 2015. Uh, not a solid gold probe, just a regular <laughs> space probe. Russian scientists say they're very excited to see, you know, what they could discover on the moon's surface. Now, I'll tell you what you're going to discover. An American flag. Booyah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, Putin! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, you know, well done us in the 1960s. <laughs> It's a great day if you love the independent cinema. Today is the first day of the 20th annual Sundance Film Festival. Uh, this year, the Sundance jury chooses between 87 different films. I'd like to be on that jury someday. I take it very seriously. I wear a robe and a gavel and bang the gavel. And, you know, I'd, yeah. I find your film guilty of being, being self-indulgent and boring the crap out of me. I hereby sentence you to a weekend at Bernie's and... <laughs> And anything by Paulie Shaw. <laughs> I don't know if I could be a, a judge. You watch five movies a day, that sounds exhausting. Is that? Maybe that's just a sign of how out of shape I am. But it sounds exhausting. <laughs> oh, another movie. <laughs> a lot of these indie movies are too long as well. I, I just read about one of those film clocks in it over three hours. It's called Jodie Foster's Acceptance Speech. <laughs> day four of that joke. Yeah. Day four. Day four of that joke. You think we could, you think we could spin that out? You think we could spin that out for a week? That that joke? Yeah, I think so. Kills every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> this year at the Sund uh, Sundance, Joseph Gordon-Levitt has a movie about a guy that's addicted to porn, and uh, Amanda Seyfried has a movie about a por the porn star Linda Lovelace, and there's a bunch of other movies. They're not about porn, so I don't know anything about them. But these two. <laughs> And there's a documentary, there's a documentary this year called Lynn Sanity about uh, the basketball player Jeremy Lynn. He is America's most interesting athlete who's never had a fake girlfriend. And... Ooh, yeah, yeah. It's creepy. Isn't it? it's weird. <laughs> yeah. Now, everybody knows, everybody in showbiz knows, everybody in the world knows, uh, well, people who know know. Some, a lot of people know, a few people know. What I'm saying is. Some people know that winning at Sundance can be the springboard to years of artistic fulfillment, making interesting and challenging feature films. On the other hand, I once had a movie that won at Sundance, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I... I don't know quite what you're happy about. 
<laughs> One thing I remember from Sundance is the filmmakers are always bragging about how their movie you know, costs hardly any money. They're like, ah, oh, we made the whole movie for $300. I'm like, just because something's cheap doesn't make it good. <laughs> I mean, look at this studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, again, again, I don't know what they're after. I don't understand. I don't understand. Not, not clear on what they're Not clear. It's, it's dissonant. <laughs> it's a lot of subtext in there. Yeah. <laughs> I think, uh, you know what, I, don't, I think audiences don't care how much you spent making your movie. What they just want to see is a good story well told. But spending almost nothing on production is very attractive to one demographic. The greedy corporate bastards who've taken over show business. <laughs> That's who likes it. Like, oh, really? Yeah. Craig, Craig. Craig, you're so cutting edge. You're, you're so cutting edge on your CBS show. <laughs> But executives love free stuff. It's like when you find a half-eaten candy bar on the sidewalk. That they're like, oh, it tastes better because I didn't pay for it. <laughs> Are you going to go at Sundance this year? Do you yeah, go at... man. Yeah. yeah, you go for the skiing, probably. Oh, like hell the... yeah. Beautiful, beautiful slopes, yeah. What part of uh, skiing do you like most, Jack? <laughs> no, 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 you have to say it. No, I like the... Uh, like poles? The, you like the poles? I like the poles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like the powdery snow around my feet. <laughs> powdery snow around sure, your feet? Sure, yeah. You got nothing tonight, sometimes man. Sometimes I like to... Sometimes I like to snort it. <laughs> snort snow? If that's what you want to call no. it. Yeah. See, and look what happened to you. You're, 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 you lost a lot of weight and you look terrible. But I feel great. It's all that matters. Do you want to go? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know quite what happened there. You all right, Secretary? What's up? <laughs> that horse keeps doing what's up to me. Yeah, what's going on with him? I don't know. I think he's gone a little bit gangster. <laughs> he's... he's Flashing signals with his hooves, I yeah. think. Yeah, he's doing that thing. Yeah, he's, he's grabbing his crotch with his hoof, which yeah. is very difficult for a horse to no do. No easy feat. Oh, look at What's he doing now? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, you girls are wearing very loud, uh, attractive. They're very attractive. Is that what the kids are? Is that color blocking? That's color blocking, right? Yeah, absolutely. Right, great. Where, where, where are you guys from? Somewhere hot? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Yeah. <laughs> Genos or Pats? Mm, Pats. Pats. <laughs> Me too, actually. No. <laughs> Do you know, tell the folks what Gino's and Pat says. All right, I'll tell them. Uh, <laughs> Gino's and Pat's are two places where you can buy a Philly uh, cheese steak, uh, and they're right next to each other. And uh, one people in Philly, they tend to go to uh, Gino's. Oranges and lemons in a Belgian second. La, 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 la. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. What are your names? Catherine. Catherine. Christine. Christine. Are you friends? Yes, we are. Do you enjoy fruity blouses? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. This ultimate frisbee tournament of which you speak. <laughs> Can anyone take part? Sure. Sure. For example, my dogs. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Really? Who, what do you what do you do in ultimate frisbee? What's the difference between ultimate frisbee and just frisbee? Which or pats? Yep, right. So even although uh, one of you is orange and one of you is lemon, you both go to pats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in LA? Uh, we're out here for an ultimate frisbee tournament in Santa Monica. 